Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to explore how to create consistent talking characters in Hedra AI, a cutting-edge platform that enables users to create personalized avatars that can talk and sing. But why is consistency important? Imagine being able to take your avatar and place it in different settings, like a virtual office or a fantasy world. Imagine being able to convey different emotions like happiness or surprise. And imagine being able to change your avatar's clothes to match different occasions or styles. Having a consistent avatar allows you to do just that, to create a cohesive and recognizable character that can adapt to various contexts and scenarios. The good news is that creating consistent avatars in Hedra AI is easy. Here's the workspace where we'll bring our avatars to life. I'll start by pasting my character description and generating the image. If you don't like the result, simply click the Randomize Seed option to try a new version. Otherwise, the same image will be generated. I like this one. Next, I'll paste the text for the audio and choose a suitable voice. To be safe, I'll download the image to ensure I have it saved. Now that we have our character and audio ready, let's move on to generating the video. Hello, my name is Amy. My eyes are a deep, rich brown. My hair is curly brown. I have a favorite article of clothing, my trusty blue button-down shirt. Whether I'm running errands, meeting with friends, or just lounging around, my blue button-down shirt is my go-to choice. Now let's place our avatar in various scenes. First, I'll have her sitting on a couch. Remember to click the Create button and not Randomize Seed to maintain consistency. As you can see, the image of our avatar remains very consistent, even in a new setting. Next, I'll update the audio text and generate the next video, making sure to download the image. I love sitting on my couch, just pondering life. There's something comforting about settling into the worn cushions, feeling the familiar embrace of the armrests, and letting my mind wander. Let's try another scenario. This time, I'll have her lying in bed. This looks good, but I think a change of clothes would be more fitting. Let me update her outfit to pajamas. Much better. With Hedra AI, it's easy to adapt our avatar to different contexts while maintaining a consistent visual identity. Now, our avatar is in an outside cafe setting, wearing a sundress. Sometimes I enjoy coffee in an outside cafe, surrounded by beautiful scenery, vibrant flowers, lush greenery, and warm sunshine. As I savor my coffee, I watch the world go by, feeling serene and detached from the hustle and bustle, grateful for this small moment of peace. Notice how her face remains completely consistent, maintaining its recognizable features. However, her hair appears slightly shorter in this scenario. Additionally, her expression seems a bit subdued, so let's enhance it with a smile. Sometimes I enjoy coffee in an outside cafe, surrounded by beautiful scenery, vibrant flowers, lush greenery, and warm sunshine. As I savor my coffee, I watch the world go by, feeling serene and detached from the hustle and bustle, grateful for this small moment of peace. With the updated expression, she now exudes a happy demeanor. As you can see, she maintains this happy, smiling expression throughout the video perfectly capturing the desired emotion and personality. I can change her hairstyle. In my spare time, I love cooking, experimenting with new recipes and ingredients to create delicious and innovative dishes. I find joy in the simplicity of chopping vegetables, the aroma of sauteing spices, and the satisfaction of watching a meal come together. I can change her accessories. I can also make her sad. Some days I feel sad, and I just can't shake it off. Everything feels a bit more difficult, and my mind starts to focus on negative thoughts and worries. I might feel overwhelmed or frustrated, even by small things that normally wouldn't bother me. The consistency we've seen so far is truly impressive. 
Now let's try creating a new character, a handsome man wearing a black turtleneck. This time, I'll use a manual seed number that I've created. A tip to keep in mind, if you think you might need to create more images of your character in the future, be sure to save the seed number, whether it's one you created or was automatically generated, by copying and storing it in a file for later use. And here's our character at a baseball game. Here's our new character sitting in a church. Even if I turn off the manual seed and recreate the image, the same image is returned because Hedra uses the same seed. It seems Hedra will continue to use the same seed until I choose to randomize the seed, use a different manual seed, or change the core description of the character. To illustrate this, let's try an experiment. I'll randomize the seed but keep the same prompt, and you'll see that the character looks different. Now, if I modify the prompt without changing the core description of the character and not randomize the seed, we get the same character as the last generation. But what if I want the image of the first guy at a baseball game? Just enter the seed used to generate the image, hit the Create button, and voila, there is the image. Hedra's image generator's ability to create consistent avatars across various scenes, clothes, and emotions is truly remarkable. However, it's important to note that there are some limitations to its capabilities. One limitation I encountered was the inability to generate full-body shots of characters, which restricted my ability to capture certain poses. This is likely due to Hedra's generation of square images. Additionally, when attempting to depict avatars with visible hands, I noticed that the resulting videos often featured unnatural and awkward hand movements. Please note the downloaded images are in WebP format and they don't feature any watermarks. However, the generated videos do include a watermark and have a resolution of 512 by 512. And the best part? This tool is currently free to use, so be sure to take advantage of it while you can. So, what are your thoughts on Hedra? Have you had a chance to try out this tool? If so, were you able to successfully generate full body shot images of your avatar, or did you encounter any limitations? Please share your comments below and let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.